All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing his truth and sincerity. Okay, this is the brother Bashar, and see women and children keep on enduring, because these prophecies are coming to pass, and salvation is near. And I, you know, I'm just going to play this clip and then I'll further expound on it with with scripture. I'm going to make this short and sweet, to the point. Got a few scriptures that I'm that I want to bring out uh, to bring out some edification. But you know, I'm just going to jump right into it and play this video. Just give me this is a warning to all fucking parents out there. Um, my child has just come home from school um, without my authority and has been given fucking injections on her fucking arm. I've rung the school and they've said that it was nothing to do with them, that the NHS come into the school um, and they've done it. I've got to um, And not even had my authority. I'm not signed nothing. Nothing. I'm absolutely fucking livid. Please. All right. So what I'll do, I'll put this video in, in the description so you y'all can watch it. But uh, this um, I don't want to say um, I don't forget because I always forget stuff. Plus I'm at school, so I'm kind of multitasking. But anyways, um, to say the least, man, the, the word has to go out. Um. So, 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 as you heard, um, Esau, his, uh, he has sent people to go out and uh, vaccinate children out there in the UK. Okay, and this is something that's going to happen. It's going to continue to happen. Okay, it's happening out there in other countries. It will continue to happen um, around the world, and um, we can we, we can soon uh, see this happening in America if it's not happening already. And um, but when you go into the scriptures, the scriptures speak about this. Um, it, it warns you on the day of the Lord. And as for those of you who 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 are in the know, you know anybody can. You know, for, you know, really for anybody, you know, anybody can tell you that we are at, in the end times and days. You know, it's 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 not, it's not a secret at, at at this point. And um, we're gonna get to the scriptures and see what the scriptures say, um, uh, or you know, warn us about in the in 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 these times. Okay, go with me a second. This is uh Slakia Jeremiah chapter sixteen. I'm gonna start at verse one. The word of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai came also unto me, saying, Thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. Okay, so we we're gonna further expound on that, but you know the um the the, the, the reason why the scriptures say that is because, you know, the day, the day of the Lord is a very dreadful uh, day. And, you know, as it is written in Revelation, the 12th chapter, the 12th verse, um, the devil will come down with great wrath, you know, knowing that he have but a short time. Um, and, and, um, and um, really, he's coming down with great wrath to uh, shake the people up. To um, get people to to receive this chip, and and really, um, he um, a lot of you people he views a lot of you people as his property, you know, and um, uh, this is why he feels as though he can, you know, just go about and just chip whoever he. He can, you know, in which, you know, he, he, um, he was given that power to do so, but you were also given a decision, you know, the, the decision that you were given 
was to either take the chip, the RFID chip, which is written in Revelation, the 13th chapter, and the 14th chapter, or, you know, which is the mark of the beast to today. I want to say, when I, when I want to speak about the chip, I'm talking about the RFID chip or the NFC, NFC chip. Okay, this is the mark of the beast today. Um, and according to the scriptures, it is, it is the... Uh, it is it is the mark of the beast, you know, um, but you know, he's not giving anybody an option to 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 to. He's giving people. He's either you take the the chip, or you know, he's gonna come down on you with the sword. And this is why the scriptures say, you know, to not have a wife, neither. Uh, have sons or daughters in this place because you know when you have a wife and you have a, 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 a kids in this place is it gets very tempting to uh you know you're going to come down it's going to be very uh you know, it's going to be an emotional this 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 this, this decision if you're not walking in the spirit you know and it's like you know kind of you know if 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 yeah, brothers feel like I'm all over the place. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to make this quick because I'm at school, but at the same time edifying to get the point across. And um I'm gonna you know, you know, so you know, th 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 there's another option. Um, and the option is uh, you know, just get put to death. You know, to allow Esau to, you know, just put you to death. If he has you in his possession, of course. If he doesn't, you know, continue to uh flee. And um and um stay out of Esau Edom's way. By the way, Esau Edom is a so-called white man. Uh, um, today, um, his biblical nationality is the the uh, uh, is uh, Edom. Okay, forefather is Esau. Okay, so I want to bring on a, another scripture. This is Exodus chapter twenty-one, and I'm gonna start at the top. Now these are the judge. Which thou shalt set before them, if thou buy a Hebrew servant. Okay, and by the way, this message is only for you, so-called African Americans, so-called Native Americans, and so-called Hispanics, and you're like foreigners scattered throughout the other scattered throughout the other nationalities. Okay, continuing on, if thou buy an Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out free free go out free for nothing okay so but you know obviously um this that wasn't a uh, 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 playing by the rules okay so let's let's continue on the first three if he come and by himself he shall go out by himself if he were married then his wife shall go out with him okay so we were born into this uh into the society you know we wasn't we were born into this captivity. We wasn't. You know, we, we was born into this society. Um, born into this captivity. Uh, we didn't come from a, another place, and then, and then just started living with our families. No, we we were born in this place, and most likely, you know, you were. Um, you know, you, you, if you have a wife, most likely she was born into this society, and this um, this this place, um. And the, your kids too. Um, verse four: If his master have given him a wife, and she have born him sons or daughters, the wife shall the wife and her children shall be her master's, and he shall go out by himself. Okay, so you know, um, basically, get the point is. Um, Esau, we are under bondage under Esau, you know, we are um, under his uh, uh, foot, if you will, and, and um, the only way, because he's not playing by the rules and he's not letting us go, um, the only way to get out of this is through Yahweh Shai, putting our faith through Yahweh Shai. And accepting that he has uh, uh, put his life on the line for our sins, you know. And um, 
you know, accepting him, accepting the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, you know, which Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is his beloved son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, where Kankadash is the Holy Spirit. This is how you say the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Apaleo Hebrew, also known as the Ancient Hebrew, aka the Holy Tongue. Okay, and um, you know, we just gotta come in and come into the name, come and put our faith in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, all through the Spirit, you know, of the Holy, of the Holy Spirit, uh, all, 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 through, all through the Spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, so like and um, you know, and um, you know, just follow the right doctrine and just you know, continue to endure, walk in the Spirit. Um, because this, uh, this devil is coming down with great wrath, as it is written in Revelation, the 12th chapter, the 12th verse, you know, and, um, yeah, so, you know, he's going to the extent of not giving a fuck about what you got to say about your own children, he's just doing this thing at this point, you know, and not, you know, not answering to anybody. You know, which is, which is, you know, which is a good thing because this is a fulfillment of prophecy, you know, and um, the more and more um, as time passes, we can expect things to get worse, but at the same time, we can, uh, we, 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 we also can, uh, can know that our redemption draweth nigh, even more nigh as time goes by, you know, and um, our our faith will be tested, but we have to continue to uh, remain strong in the faith, you know, by, you know, continue reading, continue following the doctrine and keep on enduring and in works of the Lord. And, um, you know, with that, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakodash, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel who were well, peace and salutations to all who elect out there pushing his truth and sincerity. This is the brother Bashar, and uh, two women and children. Keep on adoring, because these prophecies are coming to pass, and salvation is near. Shalom.